Welcome! This is another in my series of Climate Mythbusters and it's entitled It's Not So Hot. That is because I continuously get challenged that sometime during the Holocene temperatures were much warmer than they are today. And I often get shown the following graph. This is a plot of temperatures over the last 10,000 years. So anything to the left of this was in the previous ice age. Now they've fitted a green curve to this data and shows a distinct downward trend over the last five or six thousand years which implies that we're heading down towards another ice age. But is that really the case? According to this plot this is our current temperatures and you can see for most of the past 10,000 years temperatures have been significantly warmer than they are today. And that's the argument that is often used. But let's see what's really true. Now let's see what you don't get to see. Well the first thing you don't get to see that this isn't a global plot but it's about Greenland. Secondly, that the scale of the bottom isn't years before present, but years before 1950. So you should note that 1950 is your scale, and the last date on that scale is 95 years. So 95 years before 1950, so the last point on this plot is 1855. And you should also notice that the scale is non-linear. So I've put on there, based on that uh, plot, the actual dates. So you can see 2000 AD is on the right, and this goes back to about 8000 BC or beyond. Also, because the last point on here is in 1855, we've got 160 odd years of data to make up for. And so I've included that here in red. And as you can see, all of a sudden, today's temperatures are most of the time much higher than they have been in the past. So where is GISP2? This is Greenland and marked with this X here is the summit of Greenland at nearly 11,000 feet. Now GISP2 is very close to that summit, which means that it's on a part of Greenland that is actually the coldest, and also most subject to wild swings in temperature. Thus it's hardly representative of global temperatures. Let's return to our original graph for a few seconds, remembering now that the blue curve is from a single site in Greenland and the red curve is a global measurement of temperature. Now we know that global temperatures include sea surface temperatures which are not going up as fast as the land and also we know that sites such as this one in Greenland are warming a lot faster than the rest of the planet. So to truly compare these two you'd probably have to increase the amplitude of that red curve by at least a factor of two to make it equivalent to the blue curve. And that would put it at equal to or greater than any temperature in the last 10,000 years. Another myth that goes along with this one is that great civilizations only arise during warm periods. Now you can see that that's true for three, Minoan, Roman and Islam, although the warm periods are very short compared with the length of those civilizations. But equally you can go and look at the Egyptian, the Greek, the British, Spanish and French empires and they all arose during cold periods. So that particular myth is busted as well. So until next time, goodbye.